Hong Kong has beefed up security as the city marks six months of protests. There had been plans for a citywide strike to target this morning's rush hour traffic. But police were deployed at major roads to thwart any roadblocks. Our correspondent Roland Lim tells us calls for the strike were largely ignored. Earlier, citywide plans to disrupt commuter services. Unfortunately, uh, that didn't happen mainly because uh, of the high police presence at uh, the transport links. Uh, we had, for example, the MTR stations of Anling and Chun Moon. Before the train started working, that there was uh, debris found that had to be cleared. Later on, uh, there was also a trash can that was thrown onto the was the Sha Tin link, if I remember correctly. Uh, that also was cleared, which caused minimal disruptions. Uh, to uh, the trains operating uh, on those lines. Uh, the police were in full force at these stations, making sure that uh, there were no protesters blocking uh, the glass doors, uh, prohibiting these trains from leaving the stations on time. Uh, there was a man dressed in black who did manage to stop uh, a bus en route uh, by using the emergency button. He, uh, passengers then had to get off. He tried it with another bus, and that's when the police swooped in and took him away. There were also several arrests made. Uh, teenagers dressed in black in Mong Kok, uh, they were taken away. Uh, they, said that, um, they said that they were just there uh, to uh, go to uh, university as planned, but police decided that they were suspicious. So. Really, uh, the planned citywide strike today, uh, little uh, was, uh, little was uh, impact, did little impact to uh, the commute this morning. This morning's relative peace came a day after the largest anti-government rally in months. Organizers say around 800,000 people took part in the march from Victoria Park in Causeway Bay to Central. Police estimated that the, the turnout was much lower at 183,000. The protest came amid rising public anger after neither the Hong Kong government nor Beijing offered any signs of concession despite the pro-democracy landslide win in local elections. Hours Ow. before the march, police arrested 11 people and seized weapons including a pistol and more than 100 bullets. They said they believe the items would have been used to incite trouble during the rally.